Good evening, Hartisan. It's time for the Hartisan headline news again with me, Dame Vicky, and the lovely <laughs> Newsy News Trina. <laughs> Newsy News and Dame Vicky. I feel like because we haven't had an, an intro, we should do something jazzy. I know. Do you know what? I was going to come on today. I was going to find a tiara and put tiara. <laughs> <laughs> and then thought that was a bit silly. I haven't got one anyway, so... <laughs> If anyone can make me a tiara, you creatives out there, let me know. You know, maybe we should get like crowns when we go to the handmade festival. Yeah. Yeah. We are headline royalty, darling. Absolutely. (laughs) Absolutely indeed. (laughs) So this evening we are discussing our gorgeous, now lovely artisans with one of our Imaginariums who we did mention yesterday because she has popped on a product that celebrates tomorrow, which I believe is either National Sewing Machine Day or Sewing Day. I've read it somewhere, so if I'm re- if I'm wrong, you can laugh at me. It's not unusual. Hi, Susan. Well, oh, and she's in the house as well. Oh, you're on the news tonight, my love. Thank you, sweetheart. Look at this for service. I start the news and then I get Oh, fabulous. <laughs> So what shall we have up first? Well, I've put Granny Maud up first, as you mentioned her, so we'll start with her. Granny Maud and the old grump. Now, she's a fascinating lady, Sue. That's her real name, Sue Freckling. Go on, jump on. Sue Frecklington. So my camera's going to go weird now. My daughter's joining me and I'm sat on the bed. (laughs) You can come and sit and say hello if you like, my darling. Okay. She's like, why are you doing this to me? Why? There she is. Hello, Hello, gorgeous. (laughs) <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm really, really impressed with my daughter. I was um, struggling the other day on Marketplace. Now, that's my job to go and tidy it all up, make make all the listings all pretty, as you know. She's going, you're right there, Mum. And I was like, she goes, do you want some help? I was like, oh, there's not really much that you can do, darling. So I got up and I left the room and I went and um, made myself a cup of tea and I come back and she's written everything that she needs to do if it was her and I was like what are you doing show them all this way I can help you I've seen you do it a million times oh, she goodness. even understands keywords and synonyms and SEO rules what is that about that is amazing I've been doing it a year so I've decided these new training videos that we're going to do for listings we should just get Kira to do like a live web chat and then none of us absolutely are I think we'd be up for that, no problem. Yeah, she's got a face like this. One of them that says, <laughs> not a hell in ch- not a chance in hell that I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, I really don't think so, Mum. I love you, but I don't love you that Believe much. me, once we get you to do it, you, you'll you love it. <laughs> yeah, well, it becomes addictive. My, my, my whole day, my laptop is open at the marketplace. It's literally like I'm a fangirl of a website. It's weird. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Back, back to these. So on the screen we have these novelty um, buttons that have been repurposed and made into sewing machines. Now they are only £4 and you can have three colour options. You can either have them in purple, in cream or green and pink. Now obviously they are not the same colour matching earrings, green and pink, but they do complement each other really nicely. And she's just tried to have a bit of fun with it. All the proceeds from this sale do go to charity, it's AHC that she supports. To find out a little bit more, pop on to her shop. She's got links to the website. It's a great charity to support. So go on, show us some love. And well done for doing these, ready for tomorrow, So I think you're fabulous. Uh, see, clever girl, this is Angela. Hello. Oh, Anna. Hello, Anna. And then we've got Katrina in the house as well. Still feels weird, so I'm like my own name as if it's someone else anyway next up can we please have the personalized hanging wood slice by joyce we certainly can there you go craft she is isn't she do you know what i have so many i the amount that come in on the and she does um glasses personalized wood slices and also i want that and i want that and i want that she would cost me a fortune did you just brush the dog with my hairbrush? <laughs> great. Just great. So if you see me going like this later, you'll know I've got fleas from the dog now my hairbrush has been used. You're disgusting. 
<laughs> anyway, this hanging personalised wood slice is £3.50 plus post and packaging. They're naturally sourced pieces of wood and it really shows the beauty of the wood the way that she's done it because it's obviously cut that way. It's gorgeous. It is, aren't they? It is, aren't they? It is, isn't it? Um, they're approximately an, a centimetre in depth and it gives a beautiful bark edging. And it's the perfect way to frame your engraved, uh, uh, to your special words that you want. This one says, Nanny Horses Tree. Now, I really want to know the reason behind that. I love it. Whenever I go and see things and they've all got etchings or engravings on them or if they're personalised for someone, I always want to know the story. I'm yeah, so I'd like to know what, what the story is behind that. It's beautifully engraved as well. It is, isn't it? Really and neat. She has loads of different ones. You can have them as table numbers for weddings and things like that. You can have ones with photographs on them as well. And obviously, they all range in price, but she does a whole array of different things with these wood slices. And not to mention the glittery glasses that she does as well, amongst mm-hmm. other things. I've had a proper browse on Pink Spot. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, John. I haven't seen you for a while. How are you, my darling? Um, actually, this is completely not heart as am related, but you know people around my way, John. Do you know anyone who's looking for a job who works who uh, has any kitchen experience? Got a job offer. We need somebody at work down the road. So, uh, yeah, message me in a minute, John, if you know anybody. Bit random, sorry. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we've got one of these. So, £3.50 plus post and packaging. The wood slices are approximately seven to eight centimetres across, and the size, shape, and colour of the wood obviously will vary depending where she got it from and what tree it was cut from, etc. etc. That's beautiful. So, it is, isn't it? They're really versatile as well. You can have them pretty much anywhere. Yeah, I love the idea of what you said of having them as little, um, you know, on the table at weddings, like wedding favours. Yeah. With, I don't know, perhaps people as name places, perhaps with people's names yeah. engraved in yeah, them. And the dates, and then people can take them away and keep them. So exactly. that yeah. might be what I've seen, actually, because it might have been her page I was on the other day, and I've seen something like that, so it possibly was on her page. It wouldn't surprise me. She's got so many beautiful products as well. And yeah. I see them in craft groups. And it's, it's really nice, especially because I spend so much time like on the marketplace. I see all these names. I'm like, oh, I know her. Yeah, well, I do that now as well. Now I'm getting to know people more. I do the same. And I think, oh, I know that lady. She's in Artisan and she's in the group. You know, she's popped up in a yeah. craft group. It's mad, so. isn't it? You know, I think the amount of people that I talk to who I've never, even like yourself, you know, we're talking like this, like I've known you forever. Yeah. Me and Vicky have never met. No. It's very strange. <laughs> it's, to have this relationship with so many of you, it, it's quite scary in the end. Oh, it's lovely. I love all my on, online friends. Yeah, online friends. That's my, my online family. <laughs> um, next up, can we please have Resonate? It's Nina Brimscombe. These are, I think it's the moon. Yeah. Decorating. I'm actually in awe of resin makers because obviously I use resin in jewellery but some yeah. of the things that these resin artists do with the resin and flowers and so various other things is amazing. Because you'll know, are they different types of resin used for what? Obviously I think so. Um, you can get different types of resin and I think they all just have um, different lengths of time that you can work with them before they start to set. The, yeah. the type that I use, once you've mixed the resin and the hardener together, you have about 20 minutes playtime with it before okay. it starts to thicken. And then that's when it's then starting to set. So you, you can't manipulate it as much once it starts to thicken. Um, but there are all different kinds. And I don't know a great deal about how long, you know, the others you have to work with. But there are different types for I different mean, things. Nice paperweights obviously your yeah job. i mean resin is so versatile i mean i use resin but i don't make it myself um all my gems are from resin that yeah. i decorate my books in and that fascinates me as well how they can make them so shiny listen yeah they're so shiny as well just like wow um right so nina as i was saying she's resonate she's got loads of things popping up on the marketplace i've actually got some to go and uh approve in a minute um she's the lovely nina brimacombe now this is not just a resin piece of floral moon decoration it's also glow in the dark how cool is oh, that is it? Yeah. wow <laughs> i 
was just like, oh my God, that's awesome. Uh, when I was listening, that's like glow in the dark. Oh my God, I want one. And because it's a moon, I was just like, how nice would that be on like the wall of the bedroom? So when it's really dark and it's sort of glowing a bit, yeah. it's in your own room. I thought that's great. £19.50 um, for a 13 centimetre one and up to £24.50 for an 18 centimetre one. Will you pack it in? Plus £3 post and packaging. Sorry, I've got the dog chasing his tail next to it. I can just see the camera going like this. <laughs> oh, can you tell? It's been a really, really stressful day today. Oh, dear. Let's hope it's better tomorrow for you. <laughs> God. These are available in blue, yellow, pink or white flowers. And obviously you can see the yellow ones here. But yeah, glow in the dark. How cool. Resonate. Do not forget she's on Facebook and Instagram as well, as well as I shop with Hartisan. I'm really loving her stuff at the moment. It's all very unique and very different. And it's, it's just a real pleasure to work with her as well. So. And she's very new to us, isn't she? She only joined in the last week or so. Yeah, she's yeah. Really, like, I think she's about two weeks with us now. Yeah. That's brilliant. So, Fabulous yeah, really, really nice lady and really, really nice stuff. So, next up, can we please have the Our Family Frame? Uh, we certainly can. That's Margaret's, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, hold on, let me see. Is my camera still going? Yes. Right. Can you see this this dog going absolutely berserk over a love heart? <laughs> <laughs> it's literally like, do I eat it? Do I like it? It's just, just look at it. It's just going mental. <laughs> Either eat it or or don't. Oh, oh bless him. him. Crazy dog. I just can't cope with them all. Oh, now I've got a half naked man walking in. He's out this shower. What are people trying to do to me? A 14 year old literally like this going, oh, I'm trying not to laugh. I don't know if I to up the news. And the bed's still going like this because he's jiggling that badly, trying not to make noise. Oh, bless you. I I'm too old for this crap. Oh, anyway, Margaret Day, the R family frame. <laughs> These are from Poppy Crafts, and Margaret Day is one of our lovely madmen as well. She's such a sweetheart. I have to say, when she first joined us, she was very, very like, oh, I'm on a list. It's so scary. I can't do this. I was like, you can, Margaret. You'll be fine. Within three days, she had it down pat, and I really wish I'd never taught her in the end, because she uploaded so many. Oh, right. So she's keeping <laughs> you busy. <laughs> uh, she's brilliant. She does so many things as well. But this one is um, a frame, obviously. You can have up to ten hearts with names added, and even a cat or dog paw print with a name. Um, <clears throat> the bottle of the frame had loose crystal. Oh. Oh, the bottom of the frame has loose crystal gems um, and they're available in any colours and any choice of frame. White, black, light wood, dark wood, grey. They're £30 plus post and packaging. Oh, yes. Yeah, pop into our shop, Poppy Crafts. I know why I should call Poppy Crafts as well. See, oh, do tell us, do tell us. I will. Her little doggie's called Poppy and she goes everywhere though. She's so cute and white and fluffy. Oh, my God. Oh. So, yeah. Named it after Poppy. Yes, I'm talking about another dog. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I like this like... frame though because it's very neutral, so it would go kind of in any home because it would just fit yeah. any colour scheme, wouldn't it? It really would, and it's not one that. So I do find some that are quite overcrowded. Yes. In frames. Yeah. But this one, it's very. It's very, very sleek. It's very balanced. Cheap. It's very balanced. I think, isn't it? Yeah. yeah it's it's really nice. Sweet. Hi Sue, nice to see you. And it is a lovely frame. And yes, it is a madhouse. I'm very surprised <laughs> at myself that I'm able to sit here today. I spent most of it in bed like, oh, there's so much pain, go away. And then I've got up and now everyone just wants me. Oh. You can hide again after. <laughs> oh, I'm going to, I'm going to. The tea's doing its job right now. I don't know if it's the magic of the tea that Kira made me or the gorgeous cup by Coffee Monkey. So Combination of both, probably. Yes, I was talking about these latte mugs yesterday. It's not too heavy either, and it's 
just so, just under one and a half cups of tea. So good. Yeah. So. I like a nice big cup of tea of an evening. Oh, God, have me agree with me feet yeah. up. I'm going to make one after we've finished. How jealous are you? I know. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I'll, be, I'll stop being me now. Next, can we please have um, Indigo Sky to Knit? I don't have to tell you what it is, because you'll know. There we go. The gorgeous Davina. Um, this is a new, brand new gift set. It's ready to ship as well. Um, there's a bespoke listing on the marketplace now too. She's ever so quick, Davina. She likes it. She puts it up and that's what you are. So are you looking for a pamper gift set for a loved one? Then these little items may just be the thing. Do you want to show your mum some love? Because new mums, I think these are perfect for. And she's very baby in mind, Indigo Sky Snitch. She does a versatile range of everything. It's like a little mug cosy look. And it's so nice. I wonder if she does them in latte size. I think most of hers fit any mug, so, because I've got a couple that have got the, um, the hearts on them, I think, um, Chrissy and I showed them recently, um, and they are, I think they're universal, that they fit any size mug. They're so nice, aren't they? Yeah. What's, what's the thing that's next to it on the easel? Hmm, don't know. No, I don't either, is it just a prop for the... Is it just a prop for the picture? I think it possibly is, yeah. Margaret! Hi, honey! We just showed you. We were just talking about your lovely dog, Poppy, as well. We just had your family frame on. Um, but, yeah, if you want to go and have a look at Davina's stuff, she's also running a Learn How to Knit and Crochet course as well. Has anybody seen it and been over? Because we'd be her beta testers, so get it cheaper. <laughs> if you want to learn how to knit and crochet, quick, go, go. But I think it's awesome how she can do that as well. She's a home educator too. So she has her own business. She teaches her own kids. And now she wants to teach the rest of us as well. I think she's completely awesome. Pop over. Go and have a seat. For some reason, I don't have a price on here either. I failed miserably on this one. But it's gorgeous. Ooh. Do you know, Vicky? I don't. Shall we see if we can find Did she say it's on the marketplace or she hasn't put it up yet? No, it's on the marketplace, but I had it earlier and I don't know what I've done with it. I'm useless today. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. That's... I love that. It, all I can see is this mug now. It's the, the dame, a.k.a. Vicky, underneath it. I love it. I think you're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I have oh, to keep up with you. I'm not the funniest of people, so... I think you're hilarious. And most of mine, I'm just... I think you bring it out in me, if I'm honest. Because <laughs> you're such good fun. Oh, thanks. It's mainly because I just need to let off steam. I'm not going to lie. Have all this... Did anyone see my post the other day? My 5am musings and rambling? Yes. You've got a really... Yes. You've got a lovely way of writing, you know. I was reading it and I thought, God, this could be in a book. You should write oh. a book, honestly. It just rolled. I you believe my book. You literally could not write my life half the time. <laughs> oh, I think you should. Right, I've got it here. So the Pamper gift set, which is the crochet headband and coaster cup cozies, £15. I knew that. I knew that. As soon as you started telling me the description, it's like, bing, bing, bing. <laughs> oh, you did see that. Cool, Angela. But yeah, these are the things that I think at like five in the morning. Why would I start thinking about trampolining? And I don't even really like omelettes, so why go on about egg? My Literally, my head is just so full of useless crap. And it just goes <laughs> brain fart at like four in the morning. Why? Why? They say you have your best ideas when you wake up early. Yeah, but they're not even... I think you have to wake up early. I don't even go to sleep. I'm just still awake. <laughs> and then they all sort of like, you know blend into one and I just feel dead discombobulated oh. I was a bit like that this morning I woke up a bit late and I, I panicked then because I thought oh Leah's got to go out to school she's got an exam and all that but I was having a dream about Johnny Depp of all people and I was like I really didn't want to wake up <laughs> What was Johnny Depp doing, or were you just dreaming about... You he know, was just yeah. walking across the shopping centre saying hello to me, and the kids were going, oh, look, there's Uncle Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> and I was going, now, does that mean that he's my brother, or did it mean that we were an item, and I referred to him as uncle to the children? I don't know. 
it'd be unfortunate if he was your brother, wouldn't it? I know. Really? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to go for, I think they've just um, had that much respect. They've decided to give him a unique title of uncle because he's making their mum really happy. There you go. I like that idea very much. <laughs> we'll go with that one. <laughs> Um, he said to me the other day, he goes, you've got that knack about you, you do. I went, that knack? I was like, uh, do I want to hear the rest of this sentence? He went, no, but you know how, no matter how crap things get, you always seem to roll that shit in glitter. <laughs> <laughs> Never for my own life. But I, I think you have to be, don't stuff. you? You have to, they say, don't they, take all, take all the positives out, you know, find a positive in everything, even if it's, a, you know, not a good day or whatever. you just got to try and take something out of it. It's just it's just one of them things. I don't even know how I do it or why, but I just hate it when people are like, oh, but this didn't go quite right, and, you know, well, you know I've let everyone down. And I'm the kind of person that goes, well, you might think that, but then you won't be doing it again and you've learnt something from Absolutely. it. Absolutely. It's one of them people. Yeah. But then when it's my own problem, I'm like, oh my God, my world is over. I'm so <laughs> used to it. I can't ever make anything happy. Do you know what? Happy. I think we all do that to a degree. I think um, it's hard for us to find the positives about ourselves, isn't it? I think that's what it is, but we can see it in other people. So yeah. it's just... maybe. Maybe I just need other people tinted glasses rather than most tinted ones. <laughs> you know, do a bit better that way. Got to go, someone wants to play some. Go on, Margaret, get in there. I want to see your happy dance later. She's like, ooh, yeah, I got an order. Fabulous, Margaret. See, the dog wants to dance now. Oh, we got an order. Say, oh, well done, Margaret. Oh, we're so happy. Oh, so happy. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, don't get in my top. Right, thanks. <laughs> right, anyway, back to the news. Sorry. Can we have Dale, the delicious Dale's scrumptious chocolate? Oh, absolutely. On? Dale Patrick Evans, pick and mix parties and gifts. Our token male madmen, what a legend. Beautiful chocolate, real nice and yummy. Going to make me fat again. Not too chuffed about that, but you know what? As it's that luxurious, it's all good. Bring it on. Um, eat. Each vegan chocolate lover's treat box contains a selection of handmade Belgian dark chocolates, which includes two Belgian chocolate bars, a pack of six Belgian chocolate and raspberry hearts. If anybody um, bid on things in the auction and uh, made a donation, I do believe some of it um, had these chocolate raspberry things. I got some. Yes. Oh, your mess. I thought, oh my gosh, this. They are nice. Bring it for um, a bag of 50 grams of Belgian chocolate bark, and um, which are all made by hand using the finest Belgian chocolate. Each box also comes with free first class postage too, and they're only £10 each. I expected them to be twice that price. Yeah. Because everything's all handmade, and you know, they've got to go in the moulds, they've got to set them. It's not on a production line. He takes hours to set this chocolate, mm. to whip it, to make sure it's nice, to add all his flavourings in. And £10, I think, is a bargain. If that came through my door, I'd be so happy. I'd obviously done something real nice for somebody to get £10 worth of gorgeous treats. I've actually had one of those previously, slightly different contents, but they are fabulous value for money. Um, and I did share it with the kids. Because oh, I thought it was only appropriate. I couldn't sit there and eat the whole lot myself. I couldn't try. Quite easily. No, you can't have my chocolate, mate. You take everything else from me. <laughs> have you noticed that, though? When, when, when you've got babies, especially, you can't have a meal without them wanting something. Oh, yeah. Oh, I used to, Naomi was the best to watch. She's going, oh, is that a pancake? Yes, it is. I like pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> so do I. Mm, I like mummy's pancakes. All right, just take the pancake. Just take the damn pancake <laughs> every time. But then, you know, I started changing my diet and finding really weird things that I love that I knew she wouldn't touch. Well, blow me down with a feather. 
She likes things like blooming salt and vinegar crisps with cheese spread on it and things like that. <laughs> We've got one other dog going, no, that's me. That's me. Oh, I like the cheese. <laughs> but she always managed to get something that I wanted. And the most infuriating thing about that was when they'd nick something off your plate, they'd say, oh, yeah, it's so nice. And they go, hmm, don't like that. I'm like, really? So you've just gone on for the last 10 minutes, taking it off my Absolutely. plate. Absolutely. Hey, man. And then you haven't even eaten it. If you give it back to me, what is that about? They just know how to push our buttons and wind us up. That's what it is. I know. Uh, I don't... See, obviously, they haven't done this for years. You know, I've got a 12 and a 14-year-old now, but it irks me to this day. <laughs> and I'm like, it's a good 10 years ago that this stopped happening. But still... That was my chip or my chocolate. They took it. I have the opposite now because my daughter used to like certain foods. I mean, she's 16 now. But then she's yeah. gone through a phase recently of I put food in front of her and she goes, I don't like that anymore. And I'm like, you've had that for years. What's wrong with it? I don't like it. She doesn't like, it. She doesn't like fish anymore. She doesn't like chicken nuggets. And I'm like, well, what else are you going to eat? Because she's... <laughs> and it's like, for all kids like chicken nuggets. <laughs> Oh. But she'll go to McDonald's and eat chicken nuggets. But not just just not the chicken nuggets that I cook. I'm laughing. It's too. like she doesn't like cheese on toast, but we'll eat pizza, which is melted what? cheese. Yeah, but then I have to sort a side of her on this because I hate all food. I'm, I'm literally, you'll look at my diet and it's pretty much cheese, chicken, and potatoes, right? It's bad. It's all the same colour as well. <laughs> so my plate just looks like a plate with nothing yeah. on it all the time. And then I happened to buy the wrong cheese the other day because she'll eat cheese on a sandwich. But I normally buy the medium cheddar that is the, the white colour. And I happened yeah. to buy some the other day that was orange. And she's like, what's that? I'm like, it's cheddar cheese. <laughs> but it's orange. Yes, but it's cheddar cheese. It's no different. It's just a different colour. The taste is no different. But I don't like it. It's cheese. <laughs> <laughs> but see, I have to sort of side with her, right? And the reason why is because <laughs> eggs. I have a very big dislike for eggs. Really? Like, oh, I love eggs. I can't, <laughs> and I'm crap at cooking them as well. Right? If I fry an egg, it's either overdone or it's still got like a really runny white. Oh, All right. <laughs> I can't poach an egg to save my life. Even a hard boiled, like a soft boiled egg, I can hard boil it. Oh I yeah, I can never get the soft boiled right. I must admit. <laughs> but I cannot stand scrambled egg. But I love omelets. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? What? <laughs> but then I moan that the kids all want like different things to eat, and it's literally every dinner time I end up cooking about three different. Oh, um, yeah, I get that. <laughs> and if I get, why do you waste your time? I'm like, well, because I can't have a go at them because I'm exactly. Yeah, that's the thing, that's isn't it? That's the thing. If you're fussy, they're going to be fussy. You yeah. I'm friends then, Vicky B. Sorry, I'm the world's fussiest. It's amazing. <laughs> Right, last but by no means least, and I'm glad I waited for her because she was like, Oh, I've today. got two left. Two? I've got two left. What have you got? I've got. Um, I've got Angela Ramsden. Yeah, and Gorgeous Gifts. Oh, yeah, and Gorgeous Gifts. Wow, I thought we'd done that. Oh, yeah, I've got two as well. So, which one would you like first? Oh, I want to go together, me. <laughs> Which Angela shall we have? Oh, we'll go for um, Gorgeous Gifts to start with, because she's at the top of my page. Okay, there um, we go. Um, I love I these. I want one of these as well. These are gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> this is from the lovely, the amazing, Gorgeous Gifts, um, Angela Helen Pickhaver. Um, it's a craft room sign. This sewing thing craft room sign is made from 4mm thick MDF and has been laser cut to feature an ornate sewing machine with scissors and several, co several cotton reels and a thimble, all on top of the craft room wording. This colour in the picture are just an example of what can be achieved. The measurements are 9.5 inches in height and 7.75 inches in width. There are three different options to choose from as well. You can have it blank. So you can 
make it all jazzy yourself. You could paint it, you could gem it, you could do anything with it, or even decoupage it. I was going to say oh, decoupage is in at the moment. That would be great to do that with it, yeah. I can't decoupage. I just make a mess. <laughs> I, I'm a bit more like paper mache than decoupage. Yeah. yeah, it's just a bit glowy mess. Um, you can have them in pastel colours or you can have them in bright colours as well. Unpainted, they are six pounds fifty. Painted, they are twelve pounds fifty. Plus first class confirmed postage at three pounds twenty. But they're really really versatile as well. I think it's a it's a good. It's a good gift to give someone who's just getting into crafting yes. as well. So it's, you know, you can make your own sign and go, this is my stamp on it, this is my room, this is where I work. And I just think they're really nice. She does all sorts of awesome things. She does sewing hampers. She's, she, she does those desk tidy things, doesn't she? Like oh, the penguins. Yes, yeah. the little character yeah, penguins. Yeah. I do like these though. I love that pastel one. I think they're gorgeous. they're gorgeous. I like the pastel yeah. one as well. The red is really, really bold. It is, yeah. One of my favourite colours, but I do like the purpley pastel one. Well, I think they're great as well. Really unique. Make it your own, or if you don't want to, then you can get her to make it for you. Because yeah. she's ever so talented, is Angela. She is indeed. Um, oh, I'll have to try decoupage on one of them. Oh, could me? I've just given somebody else an idea. That's a new thing. Never do that normally. <laughs> Johnny Walker thinks they are fabulous and she loves them just like we love her and we love you. So, next up, can we have the gorgeous, the marvellous Angela Ramsden, also known to the many as Dolly Rocker or Dolly Mixture, if she's me, because I love her. Um, this is part of her and her sister's range, I believe. I associate Dolly completely with sewing. Yeah. So, I think Dolly is more the, um, the bag maker. Because she's a bit of an old bagger. She moans about everything. She's, <laughs> all she does is win. She's like, no, Trina, you do this. I'm totally lying. I just want to start on me on, on the chat, really. <laughs> I do love Dolly. She's awesome. But this is a personalised teacher notebook. It can't come at a better time with everyone winding up for school at the moment, especially in the infants. We all do like to show our teachers appreciation. I think it was you who was saying, you know, there was only very few that you bought for when your kids were growing yeah. up. Same with me. And half of them, I, I used to find it really funny when you walked in to give the teacher a gift and they'd have like 12 or 13 mugs or they'd have like 30 bottles of wine. That's it. I think they get to a point where they think, please not another mug. I've got no way to put them. <laughs> And the thing is, normally when they're personalised stuff, they've got their name on them or something like that, like Mrs. Whoever or World's Best Teacher. It's going to be dead difficult to take them down the charity shop or something to get rid of them when you have a clear out. Absolutely. Mrs. Smith or Mrs. Grady or whatever, wouldn't you? Absolutely, bad. yes. And I used to be led by the children, really. Um, if they had a teacher that they really did like and wanted a gift for, then that was fine. And um, I think on a couple of occasions, obviously, I made them something because my son had a, a lady teacher that he really liked. So he and um, he knew that she liked um, red and white. So I made her a bracelet with red and white beads. So, it was, you know, something a little bit more personal. And I thought, well, that she can keep and, you know, wear when she wants to or whatever. And then my daughter had a teacher with her last year of primary. And I did him a bracelet as well, but obviously a man's one. And it was like a Kumihimo braided bracelet. So it was ideal. It's called, what's the Kumihimo, it's called. Kumihimo? Kumihimo, yeah. I need to get around to making some more. But it's it's kind of, um, it's material that you weave into, yeah, a pattern. I need so. a pen. I need a pen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have like to find, see if I can find some out that I made previously. Kumi Hemo. No. So not how you spell it, but phonetically it looks exactly as it sounds. <laughs> so you know so I used to make gifts, yeah, that were, were personal, like like this one here. Yeah, go, what's Kumi Hemo? <laughs> you know that's going to happen as soon as news is finished. Anyway, back to the notebook. This is £8 including postage. This is part of Jill's range. It's her lovely sister. Do you know what? I had a proper mooch as well. Dolly and her sister look so much alike. Really? Really, really, really. And I, I, logged, I clicked on the picture and I was 
sat there for a minute thinking, but it looks like Dolly. But it's not Dolly. God. It's definitely not Dolly. I didn't realise till recently that they were a duo. So, yeah. yeah. I didn't either, to be honest with you. And then, you know, I say that I'm, I'm quite friendly with Dolly. She's like, how did you not even know, see? Say you're my friend and you did that. She's just mean to me all the time. She's a cow. But we find, find that with a lot of those that we've got on the marketplace. Obviously, we've got a lot of mother and daughter duos as well that work together. And you yeah. find that there is one that is more around in the chats and, you know, likes to go live. And then the other one's yeah. busy working in the background. They don't want the limelight. They want to yeah. be, you know, behind the scenes, but they run the businesses together. And obviously that works think, for them. I don't think I could share what I do because I get really, like, possessive over it. Yeah, I do. Like, I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I'd be like, no, that's not right. You don't do it like that. <laughs> yeah, and even, like, on, on, on lives and things, I was so determined never to do them. And I swore blind I would never go live. Swore. Like, yeah, no, I know. not happening. Mm. But now I find it's a really important part of my week. Yeah. Where I've had so much time off from it and away from it in the last few weeks, although I felt like crap all day, I woke up and I was like, all right, I need to sort the news out. But yeah. then he looked at me as if to say, You've been at death's door all mm. day, and now look at you. But to me, this is where I get to be me and yeah. have a bit of fun yeah. and laugh along. Um, so Jill's a teacher. Oh, Jill's a teacher, so happy to stay behind. I didn't know she was a teacher. Yeah, maybe I should like set up a whole load of questions and just ring Dolly later. So, when was your sister born? What did she do? <laughs> Let's How have a Q&A session. <laughs> But they do do so many nice things. I mean, I think Jill does the cross stitch as well. And they're just beautiful. We've had hoops on here that she's designed into yes. cross stitch. You know, we have the gorgeous Dolly's um, magical makeup bags. We have one in this house. It's a unicorn design. Mm -hmm. I say we have one. It's blatantly Kira's. But I'm going to rob it when she's not yeah. looking. She I'm did a live this evening, actually, that I managed to catch on replay, where she'd made a, um, for a customer, a custom request, and it was one of her bags, makeup bags, jewellery bags, whatever you want to call them. But um, it had got little compartments inside, and it's a smaller version. So that's oh, a new, no a new one that she's come up with. Yeah, new design. Like so she's bag, going to make like them. They're still drawstring, like her others. So they're still close up, but they've got like little pockets inside, which will be ideal for jewellery and things like that. So. Cheers. Um, yeah. I fold them out, and if it was all laid flat, and you can have brushes in a circle, and then when there you put them all up, they go like this. Dolly, get onto it. I want one. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I do wonder. Have you patented your idea, Dolly? Have you? Because yours is the only bag like that I've ever seen. I want to know if there's a patent on it. Because if there isn't, you should, should get be. one. Yeah. Definitely should be. I'm dead interested now. Dolly fascinates me. And I love all She's the lovely. I do. I will make you all laugh, though. If ever anybody wants a bag and they love velvet, please order one from Dolly. As many as you like. As many as you like. All in different colours, if you have to. She hates the feel of velvet. <laughs> Does she? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do it. Oh, dear. It's out there now. It's live. It's on news. <laughs> I had my leopard one come the other day. I've got my leopard set. <laughs> Excellent. Well, where is it? I want to see it. I'll go and get it if you want. It's in the living room. What are you okay, oh, then. Well, I can show it all up. I love looking at people's magnets on their fridge. It tells me a lot about them. So she's obviously got a bit of a fascination for penguins. That's cool. I don't know what that thing is on the left. It looks like some sort of angel, I think. But she's either had a lot to drink and fallen over, or it just likes it sideways. So Kira's looking at me to say, "What the hell?" You're looking at the fridge magnets. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got pictures of my kids on there. I've got some little yeah. hearts and stars that Nancy did for me for the kids. Oh, Nancy, no, Nancy, Nancy. our teacher, so one of us that are creatives. So yeah, actually. <laughs> So, the, tree, the picture of the three in the, in the top corner. That is, that is my son Aww. and his two friends. Oh, 
that way. Look, sorry, I'm turning around so Kira can see too. When they were in <laughs> either nursery or reception. Oh. And he's 13 tomorrow, but that is my favourite photograph from when he very first started school. Oh, with a couple of his mates. Happy birthday to Ke it's Kian, isn't it? Kian, yeah. Yeah, massive happy birthday to Kian tomorrow. You're going to be in for it at 13. 13 old, tomorrow. 13. I left Dolly Rock like it makes my teeth itch. Yes, velvet does. Please do. Oh, I might have a velvet one next time then. I so, this is the I bag. I also had another idea as well. So if you open it out ever so slightly... I know what you're going to say. Yes, <laughs> tie it up to your chin. It's a rain hat. It's a shower cap. Yeah, yeah or a shower cap. Yeah, yeah. Look, perhaps I look more like a dame now. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> you could make a range of shower caps as well. There you go. Yeah, exactly. Multi-purpose design. So, yeah, so that's my gorgeous, gorgeous bag. I haven't decided what I'm going to put in it yet, but I've got tons of jewellery um, and various things that I could use this for. But oh, I just love it because it's leopard print, bag. and I love leopard print. Leopards are my yeah. favourite animal. And you then, could. as part of the set, because I won this in the auction, oh. I've got a gorgeous drawstring bag drawstring as well. Bag. Dolly, so, um, I know you're watching. Fabulous. Can you do, so they're the drawstring on either side rather than just on one side, so I can pull both sides and put it on my back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I then you can do that. I have the the oh, rest. The I don't cushion. know what you call this. You put your you put your phone in it, don't you, or your tablet, or whatever. Okay. But then, because she's very eco-friendly and likes to use all her scraps of material up, I also have a bundle face cloth. of face cloths as well, which I'm trying to hide from my daughter because she'll be pinching these otherwise. Well, which I don't mind sharing, but she's not having the leopard print ones. So, okay, well, we got some of those as well, and uh, I actually came up with an ingenious idea for mine. Although, yes, they are great as washable face cloths, etc., etc. But I couldn't find the tea towel to get the hot stuff out of the oven, so I used one, one of those. those. Yeah. yeah. Like an oven glove. It does, yeah. It's like an oven, yes. Yeah. Like an oven mitt, isn't it? Yeah. It's dead easy to use, so I use one of mine as an oven mitt. There you I go. There's you. another idea. We've given all the ideas out today. You should be on commission. I can't <laughs> sew, so it's all good. Well, I think my favourite's <laughs> got to be the shower cap. We definitely need a shower cap. <laughs> I think you should sit with it on. Is it, it looks like a French beret when you do that. <laughs> oh, Betsy, the cat is always in my place. Uh, I'll send you some more, Vicky. Go on, get free stuff in. Let <laughs> you out. Accidentally. Bless angry. you. Why are you angry, Sue? Why are you angry? Um. Anyway, I think I've rambled, prattled and... Uh, yeah, gone on a little bit tonight. So I'm going to love you and leave you all. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very love much, it. guys. All right. Um, Vicky, are we nuding it tomorrow and um, Sunday? Or Sunday. We are doing Sunday. Um, I know a post has gone out into one of the groups for some naughty stuff. Um, and yes, we can do it tomorrow if you like. I'm not sure whether it might be a bit later because I'm going out for tea with Kate for Kian's birthday. So um, oh, no, straight no, after no, work, we're... We're going to go out for this just for something to eat, so. Well, do another night. Go and have a evening with your boy for his birthday. So we could do start. Friday if you want instead. Friday's good for me. Friday's and I'll do a post tomorrow in crafters for the crafters to put their items forward for the news. Yes. Is exactly. that okay? It's perfect, my darling. Fabulous. Thank you, lovely. Happy birthday as well. So uh, we shall see you all soon, I guess. See you yeah. on Friday. Take See you care. Friday, guys. Bye.